Good morning, Japan. Good morning, the world. This is Alan Gibson of J Soccer Magazine, wishing you a wonderful day wherever you happen to be, wherever you happen to be watching this in the future or right now live on Ustream, which is a highly unlikely proposition because I didn't tell anybody I was recording it. Anyway, the news from the J League, well, a lot of it's behind me. Kagawa, if you believe anything you read, he's on the way to Manchester United. Five million euros a year salary, 15 million euros transfer fee. Remember, you heard it here, well, last. Everybody's talking about it, but nobody has actually confirmed it. Well, I'm going to tell you it's going to happen. Kagawa's going to Manchester United. 15 million euros, maybe. Uh, behind me, of course, the red Olympic Japan shirt. And the Olympic teams will be chosen very soon. And I believe yesterday the players went for their medicals in Tokyo. So anybody who's not fit ain't going. And behind me, Shimizu S. Pulse. The big story of the week and possibly of the season. Shimizu are going to be champions. I'm telling you, they are. Shimizu S. Pulse have a team that is going to win the league. Yesterday, nothing happened. The day before yesterday, they beat Vigalta Sendai, ending their unbeaten run at the top of the league, and pulled them back to within two points. Shimizu S. Pulse are second. Are they going to win the league? But I get ahead of myself. Let's go back to April the 28th, the start of Golden Week in Japan. Three games within a week, and what happened? Nagoya Grampus 1, Urawa Reds 2. Tulio was not a happy chappy there. Uh, S. Pulse against FC Tokyo, that was a big story. S. Pulse went down to nine men with about 20 minutes left and still scored a wonderful strike from Takagi, who is growing up to be a wonderful player. Well, will he ever grow up? He's only about four foot six. Anyway. So S Pulse won with nine men, and that was a wonderful story. Sagan Tosu held Kashiwa Race Hall at home, which is not really a big story these days, because Sagan Tosu are fifth in the league and doing very well, and Kashiwa Race Hall. <laughs> J2 bound. Could they be the first team ever to be promoted, win the league, and go back down again? Who knows? Kawasaki Frontale won, San Freche Hiroshima four. Kazama, new coach, didn't quite work out from the first time, but next two games... Wait and see. Kashima Antlers 5, Gamba Osaka 0. Nil. Nil point. Not a good score for Gamba. To be honest, they had a few shots. They could have had a goal or two. And then they went down. They chased the game. They lost it. And then at the end, there was a huge goalkeeping error by Fujigaya, who, which probably put the final nail in his coffin. And uh, he's now on the bench. And it's about time too, say Gamba fans. Omiya Ardija 2, Consadole Sapporo 1. Not a surprise, really. Omiya winning? Well, that's not a surprise anyway. But Sapporo losing? Definitely not a surprise. Yokohama F Marinos 3, Vizal Kobe 1, Marinos finally won. Good news for them, perhaps, but not so good news because it meant that Higuchi, that coach that a lot of them are knocking, uh, he's basically killing Marinos' style. Do they have any style? Uh, he's, well, he kept his job because of that one. Vizal Kobe went 1 0 up and looked to be cruising, and then Yokohama Marinos came back. Three goals in seven minutes. Boom! Three points, Higuchi keeps his job. Albert X Niigata, zero. Vegalta Sendai, one. No surprise there. And Cerezo Osaka, three. Jubilo Iwata, two. Cerezo Osaka, the most inconsistent team in the history of the world, against Jubilo Iwata, who, to be honest, are a bit above their station right now. I tipped them to go in the bottom five or six, and I still think they will, even though they're in the top five or six right now. So that was Division One, Section Eight. In Section 9, Consadole Sapporo made news by beating Cerezo Osaka, the most inconsistent team in the world, 1-0. Vissel Kobe beat Omiya Adija 3-0 after firing coach Wada after the defeat from Marinos last week. So, well, not really last week, just a few days ago. 3-0 uh, under interim coach Adachi. There's talk about Nishino arriving at Vissel. Uh, but I believe there could well be a chance for Stuart Baxter to return. And I even told them they should uh, approach Mikhail Laudrup or even Guardiola. I mean, let's face it, Guardiola. He said he wants a rest from football, so why not come to Vissel Kobe? Sorry, I couldn't resist that joke. But it's not true. Vissel Kobe have a great team, great bunch of players, and a good coach. We'll take them up to the top five this year. Mark my words. Kawasaki Frontale 4, Jubilo Iwata 3. Another loss for Jubilo. Uh, four goals against, and Kawasaki came good under coach Kazama. Do you know what? He dropped all the Brazilians. Say no more. 4-3, they win. And then San Fetcher Hiroshima, as if to underline the fact that this division is 
driving, it goes all crazy. San Francisco, Hiroshima, nil, Albert X, Niigata, one. What? Albert X, one, at Hiroshima. Whatever next. Sagan Tosu, one, Vega of the Sendai, one. Sagan, another draw against a top team. So Sagan are doing very well, confounding all the critics and uh, up in the top six. Ura Reds, one, Yokohama F Marinos, two. Ura Reds chasing Seneso as the most inconsistent team in the country. And Marinos, two in a row. Higuchi definitely keeps his job now, doesn't he? Big one of the day, Shimizu S Pulse, three, Kashima Antlers, nil. Shimizu S Pulse destroyed Kashima Antlers, walked all over him. The funny thing is that, well, Gamba beat Shimizu S Pulse. Two weeks ago, you know, they did, they destroyed him. Kashima Atlas beat Gamba 5 0. S Pulse beat Atlas 3 0. What's going on? What's going on? I don't know. Anyway, well, we're coming almost up to date. I think I can find the window I need to get results from the 10th section on Sunday, May the 6th. Here we go then. Yokohama 2, Consadoli Sapporo 1. Three in a row for Marinos. And another defeat for Sapporo. Was either a surprise? Probably not. But Mr. Higuchi still keeps his job at Marinos. Ooh. And Seneso Osaka, well, guess what? They lost. But they weren't that bad, actually. J Soccer Magazine was there live, and we were watching that game. Seneso Osaka 1, Vissel Kobe 2. Vissel looked pretty good. Could have had 4 or 5. In the end, though, Seneso was stopped in the last minute, the last seconds, a free kick, and uh, it was like, wow, million. Anyway, I, I digress. Big story of the day, Vigalta Sendai nil, Shimizu S Pulse 1. Yes, Shimizu S Pulse thrashed Sendai 1 nil. Younger Pin was sent off, another second yellow for Shimizu S Pulse. Uh, so a red card and five or six yellow cards. Uh, Mr. Gottby must be getting upset with those referees, but he's keeping it quiet, he's holding his team together. And have I told you that S Pulse are going to win the league? I think I should. Kashiwa Race All 2, San Freche Hiroshima 5. Not 10. 5 5. It was 2 0 to Hiroshima. Kashiwa came back to 2 2 and were thinking, oh, we're going to get a point. And then, boom, 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 three goals in the last few minutes, including two in lost time for Ishihara. Omiya Ardija are thinking, why did we let him go? San Freche thrashed Raisol. 5 2. Raisol are way down in the oh, cellar. Nagoya, Grampus, 2. Kawasaki Frontale, 3. Frontale win again, Nagoya lose again. Another team that people fancied for the championship are way down in the bottom half. It's to be noted that Nagoya, FC Tokyo, Gamba and Kashiwa do have one game in hand that they didn't play in the week because they had an ACL game. None of them did really well, but FC Tokyo are probably the best of the bunch, surprising us all by qualifying already while the other three struggling. Never mind, eh? Jubilo Ibata 2, Uramore 2. What can I say? Two goals from Beck, two headers from a diminutive Korean against a couple of decent big centre backs. No good. Makino scored for the Reds and then Genki Haraguchi scored a wonderful goal. Well worth a look. If I can find it, I'll put it up for you on uh, jsoccer.com. Haraguchi scored 2 2. And by the way, Junya Tanaka, second, uh, no, sorry, the first goal for Racer was a stormer. Henri esque, Bergkamp esque. Cisayesk, Krautjesk. Take a look at Junior Tanaka's goal for Kashiwa Race Hall against San Francisco Hiroshima if you get a chance. I digress. Omiya Adija 1, Gamba Osaka 0. Here we go again. Omiya, the third home win in a row for the first time since the 14th century. Gamba Osaka lost again. I did speak to their players and staff yesterday, and Gamba Osaka were actually reasonably uh, okay with the performance, but not the result. There are no alarm bells going off at Gamba Osaka. Coach Wada from Vissel is not being approached by Gambo Osaka, I promise you. Kashima Antlers, nil. Sagantosu, nil. Another decent draw against a big team from Sagantosu. Certainly before the season, Kashima would have expected to win that, but these days, any point and any goal for Kashima is a bonus. And, well, what do you expect? Albirex, nil. FC Tokyo, two. Albirex were dire again, and they are J2 bound. I can't say it enough. Top scorers, that is what I like. That is what I like. The top scorers in the J League, Hisato Sato. If you say Sato Hisato, you have to say his full name because it's it's like the law. Sato Hisato. Nine goals, including one PK. 
for Sato, for San Francisco Hiroshima. Then we have Kim Bo Kyung from Cerezo Osaka and uh, Masio Richard from Ura Reds. Kim has seven, Richard has five. But then this is what I like. We have a whole bunch of Japanese players in the top scorers. It hasn't happened for a while. Yajima, Frontale, Takagi, Espos, Yamamoto, Iwata, five goals each. Ota and Akimine, four goals each from Sendai. Koroki, Karishima Atlas, four. Genki Omai, four. Sekiguchi, Sendai, four. Yasushi Endo, Karishima Atlas has got three, too. I mean, the Japanese players are scoring the goals. This is what we want. So look out for game 11 when S Pulse will be looking to take over the top spot from Big Alta Sendai. Only two points. First place, Sendai, 23 points plus 12 goal difference. Second place, Shimizu S Pulse, 21 points plus 5. Third place, two more points behind San Francisco Hiroshima on 19 points with a goal difference of 10. Two more points behind Urawa Red, 17 with a goal difference of plus 3. Then we have Sagan, Tosu, Kawasaki Frontale, Jubilo, Iwata, FC Tokyo, Vissel Kobe, Nagoya Grampus, Omiya, Adijo, all within a couple of points there. And we're already in the bottom half of the table then with Cerezo, Osaka, Yokohama, F. Marinos on 13. But way at the bottom it's Consadole, Sapporo on 4 points. Then Gamba, Osaka on 7. And the Niigata and Reiso on 8. Of course, Gamba fans and Reiso fans will be saying, Well, we've got a game in hand, it's no problem, we're going to get those points. Hope you do, guys. I don't think uh, Gamba or Kashima, or even Reiso, to be honest, I don't think there'll be alarm bells going off at those teams when there are teams like Sapporo and Niigata around. But a third relegation place may well be something to fight for. Enjoy J League, enjoy J Soccer Magazine. Issue 3, available now at www.jsoccer.com Issue 2, back issues, special offers available there at www.jsoccer.com or mail me at alan at jsoccer.com A-L-A-N at jsoccer.com And the next podcast I do will be telling you all about Issue 4, due June the 15th, but that is another story. Go J-League! I thought we'd finished.